year of struggle. Close to 3,000 more migrants were all apprehended in Yuma just this past weekend alone. Been told that Border Patrol is sending more agents to the Yuma sector soon. Heartbreak. Doctor tragically lost his life. Crime. Cardwell, the ex-Yuma Marine, was sentenced to life in prison. I knew it was, it was a real gun at that okay, point. This is a problem that needs to be solved. Hope. Vaccines in high demand. There have been more things to do popping up all around town. A look back at the biggest events in the desert southwest. Our year starts now. The kid who went in, showed up out of nowhere in the parking lot and started harassing me. Thank you for joining us, Samadonis Albright. It was a year mixed with every single emotion. Some stories brought us joy, others hit a nerve. But overall, we persevered. Tonight, we take a look back at some of the most impactful stories that happened in our area. News 11's Cody Lee joins us with the top stories we saw in Yuma County. From a new president being inaugurated to many political figures coming straight here to Yuma County. We'll get to that in a minute, but we begin with something we've dealt with throughout the whole year, the ongoing COVID. 19 pandemic. We are now receiving our allocation directly from the state. Today, we're able to start vaccinating over a thousand people per day, seven days a week. So this is a monumental day for our organization and for our community. That was back in March, the day the state of Arizona and YRMC partnered up to open a vaccination clinic at the Yuma Civic Center. But as more people became eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine earlier this year, Yuma County, along with the rest of the world, were impacted by several new variants of the virus that led to a spike in COVID-19. COVID cases at the beginning of August, lasting a few weeks before going back to normal levels. During that time, at least three local schools experienced COVID outbreaks. Hospital staff say the majority of COVID patients were unvaccinated, something that still rings true to this day. Um, the unvaccinated, we've had people over 30 days. Um, we have currently some, um, you know, we did have that one or two deaths, you know, from the ICU from we've, we've reported. And they were pretty well long stays. Over at the southern border, an increase in the number of migrants crossing into the Yuma sector. Daily apprehension averages continue to climb, up to at least 48,000 from October 1st, a climb of 8,000 percent compared to the same window in 2020. Border Patrol in need of more agents to process everyone coming in. The majority of migrants say they want a better life in the U.S. Definitely different than what we were seeing, uh, say, this time, you know, 2020. Uh, for the whole year and fiscal year, fiscal year 2020, we were seeing uh, 7,500 uh, apprehensions uh, to, to, as compared to now, where we we're at uh, a little over 30,000. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey and U.S. Senators Lindsey Graham and Rick Scott all coming to the Yuma sector border as we saw the influx of migrants. It's not about immigration right now. Immigration can be solved in, in Congress between the House and the Senate and the President. This is a border security issue which is also a national security issue that directly affects public safety. Meanwhile, Senator Kirsten Cinema joined other local officials at Yuma International Airport to discuss a bipartisan bill she co-authored in the Senate called the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. This is, I think, important in the Yuma community. We're investing in faster internet so that more people in more places will get high-speed broadband and it will also help families afford internet service if they don't. It brings over $550 billion in new spending, making significant improvements to the nation's roads, bridges, airports, and transit system, plus many other public upgrades. Senator Mark Kelly also visited Yuma twice to talk port of entry enhancements, also part of Cinema's bill. In November, the $1.2 trillion bill was finally passed in the Senate and signed by the president. And staying with the border in November for the first time in over a year and a half, the United States borders fully reopened open, with one major exception, only for travelers fully vaccinated. Down at the San Luis Port of Entry, people coming from Mexico were thrilled to finally visit Yuma County again. I'm really happy because being here after the pandemic, I'm finally going to eat hamburgers from the United States, which are the ones we want. And then let's see what changes there are here. What's new? But the truth is, I'm happy. This year also brought devastation to our community. 
It was an early morning on August 24th when YPD responded to a suicide call, only to find two bodies and their accused killer inside a Yuma home. The suspect identified as 28-year-old Trayvon Wilhite. The victims, his 25-year-old girlfriend, Tamasia Wilder, and her 2-year-old son, Roy. The cause of death, blunt force trauma. Family of the victims talked to News 11 exclusively following the murders. My daughter was so beautiful. She... Oh, she was so silly. Will Height's defense has requested more time before a trial takes place. And tragedy struck after a private jet went down in San Diego. Come to find out, it was a well-known Yuma cardiologist manning the plane. Dr. Sugata Das died in the crash along with a California UPS driver. You know, he was one of, one of the individuals who was so active in medical staff, so active in the medical community, so active in community outside the hospital in Yuma. A major announcement from Yuma Regional Medical Center sparked a lot of conversation this year. Back in June, Yuma's only hospital said it would partner with a nationwide medical network. If that deal went through, it would have changed its status of being a not-for-profit organization. We've committed and LifePoint's committed to hire all employees that meet, you know, certain, obviously that depends on regulatory standards and, and meeting certain screening criteria that you do with any employment. But all employees will be offered employment with LifePoint Health if they so choose, and, and we anticipate everyone will. But by the end of the year, it was a no-go. The unanimous decision made by the hospital's governing board. YRMC says it's still exploring the possibility of a partnership. Yuma made national headlines when a former Marine thwarted an attempted armed robbery at a Foothills gas station. James Kilser stops at the Chevron every morning before work, but you can see in this viral video it was not an ordinary morning. Moments later, the door opens and the armed suspect, along with two others, enter the store. Kilser grabs the gun, forces it to the side of the suspect. The gun felt plastic. Like it was all I felt was plastic, and when nothing moved and the trigger didn't go, I thought it was just a toy gun that cheap toy airsoft or something didn't have anything in it. In light of his swift actions, the Yuma County Sheriff's Office awarded him with the department's Citizens Valor Award. In 2021, we also saw a much anticipated return of local events that bring the whole community together, from the Tacos and Tunes Festival to an in person Bridget's Gift event. I'm very excited to have uh, events like this again. You know, make, make, you know, make money and have people all be out here and have fun and try our food, you know, get known locally, you know, we're, we're, we're locally, uh, we're locally grown. And finally, in our top stories of the year, there's a new Miss Yuma County. I was asked to be one of the judges for this year's Miss Yuma County competition after covering the former Miss Yuma County title holders at this year's Miss Arizona competition in Phoenix. Out of eight candidates, myself and four other judges crowned two young women who we felt would represent Yuma County the best. Say hello to your 2022 Miss Yuma County, Haley Wright, who wants to bring awareness to childhood cancer after losing her young brother to a rare bone disease. Harrison Dusick is your new Miss Yuma County's outstanding teen. Harrison's background in dance sets her up to expand the performing arts community in Yuma County. Happy holidays and have a wonderful new year. Reporting in Yuma, Cody Lee, News 11. Cody, thanks. 2021 was an intense year in Imperial Valley as well. News 11's Wally Jahari brings us the highlights from Imperial County. Being the last county in the state of California to be established, Imperial County is known for its tenacity to persevere through some of the toughest moments. We continue to see an increase in apprehensions. Uh, currently, we're at a 33% increase uh, when compared to the same time period of last fiscal year. The year saw high activity along the U.S.-Mexico border, while the number of apprehensions have been increasing since April 2020. According to U.S. Border Patrol, the numbers spiked shortly after President Joe Biden took office. And although Border Patrol agents were unable to speak about the politics behind the migrant surge, the severity of the situation became apparent on March 2nd. Two vehicles drove through a hole cut in the border fence near Calexico sometime between Monday night and early Tuesday morning. A Holtville Highway became the site of a horrific crash. Authorities say an SUV jam-packed with 25 undocumented immigrants from Mexico crossed into the U.S. illegally. Locals continue to gather at the crash site to pay their respects to those 13 lives lost. A tragedy in Holtville. 
13 lives were lost in a crash after a human smuggling attempt. All the victims in the SUV were undocumented immigrants trying to find a better life in the U.S. But that was just the beginning. This time, El Centro sector border patrol agents say smugglers lowered a group down over the wall. That's what you're seeing there by rope. The chief adding tonight these heartless, greedy smugglers continue to endanger the lives of undocumented individuals for money. And as we head into the winter season, U.S. Border Patrol tells me that they expect more illegal activity along the... She was stating that her child uh, was still in the hands of a smuggler uh, on the Mexico side. Uh, they were holding the baby as she was climbing over the wall to, to get over to illegally enter uh, into the United States. A father and son were also rescued from the Hakumba area last week. They were sent back to Mexico. According to Border Patrol, apprehensions continue to rise at the El Centro sector. Firefighters say they helped a man who got stuck between the border wall in Calexico. News 11's Wiley Jahari reports. But a light at the end of the tunnel for this mother and son who reunited for the first time in seven years. Although the border wall was separating the two of them. And some will be spending the holidays without their loved ones for the first time. A young mother was two months pregnant, died in a canal in Heber in August, leaving behind her husband and two-year-old son. What took the fire department, which is three minutes away, 30 minutes to get here, I just want to know, and that's what, what's going to make me feel comfortable, especially for me to tell my son what actually happened when he grows up. And climate change proving to be relevant. This year, the city of Imperial saw its hottest day on June 17th. I'm going to try to get as close as I can here because this fire is still very active and I want to try to show you as much as I can. The fire departments across the Imperial Valley have been working nonstop to make sure that residents are safe. Roads that are currently blocked off plan to be reopened by this evening. With scorching temperatures comes higher chances of a fire. One fire in Calipatria claimed 150 acres of land, but luckily no property was damaged. But one daycare did not have that same luck. In the month of April, Imperial County families were shocked to learn their favorite daycare was hit by a fire. Kids were able to safely evacuate just in the nick of time. I heard my daughter calling for me. My daughter was like, Mom, Mom, and I was like, what? Like, that's when my heart dropped and I saw all the smog and it was their house and stuff. And I seen all the kids outside in the sidewalk and I was like, oh my God, like, no, like, I was like, why them, you know? And the COVID-19 pandemic still a threat across the valley. With the Delta variant making its way to Imperial County, the mask mandate returned as well. But some still found that unwarranted. We are not okay with these mandates. Um, coming down from Governor Newsom. Speaking of Governor Newsom, the California recall effort failed. Today, he remains the governor and promises to tackle this pandemic. But through the good and the bad, Valley residents remain strong. From the Dorothy Light Parade to a musical holiday tradition, join us as we take a look back at how we celebrated this season right after this. The New Year's sale starts now at More Furniture for Less. Shop all our hottest styles at the best value to help bring in the new year. Prep your home to take on all the opportunities of 2022. By creating a relaxing living room, a warm, inviting dining room, 
or a bedroom sanctuary, all on sale. Be the first to shop the New Year's sale early this Sunday with special hours from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Preview all sale specials online at morefurniture.com. Should we tell them that we're both number one for the biggest selection of pre-owned inventory in Yuma? Nah, this is more fun. For the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles in Yuma, visit us at Chapman Chevrolet Buick GMC, Chapman Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, or online at ChapmanYuma.com. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kiss them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. We're on a mission to connect every Arizona service member, veteran, and their families to the support and resources they deserve. If you or someone you know needs assistance with benefits, health care and wellness, employment, or housing, Visit connectveterans.org or call 866-4AZ-VETS right now to learn more. This message is brought to you by the Arizona Coalition for Military Families, the Arizona Department of Veterans Services, and Arizona's Be Connected Partners. You've been training since you got back? Does fighting gangsters count? Where my money at. You were at a Shaolin monastery for three years. This guy is eligible, obviously, into you. Very nice looking couple. No, we're, we're not. Uh, I've lived with this stuff. You took down an army by yourself. You basically walked on air. It was physics. Kung Fu. New episode tonight at 8, 7 central. Only on The CW. Welcome back. The Yuma community came together for one of its main Christmas celebrations. The Dorothy Young Memorial Electric Light Parade earlier this month featured floats, marching bands, and other community groups. The event typically brings over 40,000 spectators, all enjoying the sights and sounds of the holiday season. And one group rang in the season with a decades-old tradition. The 42nd Annual Cindy Klein Memorial Handbell Choir Christmas Concert was held at Trinity United Methodist Church in Yuma. Different classic Christmas songs were performed using bells. The choir features performers of all ages. A Christmas tradition stemming from a promise made and a chance at a new life when we return. Hey, got a great deal at Toyotathon. Got a great deal at Toyotathon. You too. Got a great deal at Toyotathon. Yeah. Got a great deal. Okay. It's the final days of Toyotathon. Yes. Time for you to get a great deal. Right now, during Toyotathon, get 2.49% APR on a new 2021 Tacoma with Toyota Care, our no cost service plan. It all ends January 3rd. Toyota, let's go places. Spectrum Mobile now costs just $29.99 a month when you get two or more lines. $29.99? Yes, and you get everything. You get unlimited data and nationwide 5G. And all you're paying is... Oh, that's what I was going to say. And all this comes on a super secure connection. $29.99. <laughs> I'm going to go. Are they crazy? Possibly. Are they going to change it? No, they already made the balloons. It's the best deal in mobile. Spectrum Mobile. Those were the days. We cruised down drags with our favorite bands. And every night we had standing dates with the same friends. We hustled, we bumped, we bus stopped, and we smoked all the time. If that was you then, get your lungs screened now. Visit ScreenYourLungs.org today. My name is William Yank. I'm a 23-year-old, three-time leukemia survivor. It was a very, very wild, anxious ride on whether I was even going to live. Leukemia Lymphoma Society was this unforeseen blessing for me. 
because I wouldn't have been able to get CAR T cell therapy. We are about nine months uh, post-transplant and feeling very healthy, strong, and I live. To give or get help, visit LLS.org. When news breaks, News 11 is on the scene. If it affects you, we investigate. Maeli says hundreds of people come to the border every day. Like when the border crisis takes us around the globe to exclusive stories in our backyard. In recent interview, she described the border crisis as a failure of the current. And stories developing as you watch this on air on KYMA.com. News 11 is there 24-7. Welcome back. A man creates an elaborate wonderland of holiday lights each year after making a promise to his girlfriend. Ida Siegel has this special report. Lozier Court is your average quiet suburban road until you hit the Russo house. Where Christmas is spilling out of every crevice and on every inch of the front lawn here in Paramus. Homeowner John Russo says creating this wonderland of lights has become his life's work. I just fell in love with it. She fell in love with it. Just kept, just kept going. I just kept buying more lights and putting them up. The idea for this elaborate display came back in 2014 on a dare of sorts. It was a promise he made to his girlfriend after getting diagnosed with throat cancer. She said, when you survive, build a light show. And so he did. Represents a long, hard fight. You know, it was seven weeks of torture with the chemo and the radiation. Not only did John survive, but he's had a clean bill of health every year since, which means every year he adds on a new feature. New this year is the dancing penguin. There's a lot more downstairs that still haven't come out, gotten put up yet. So there's more to come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's always more. John says he works on it all year round. He personally programmed all 12,000 plus lights to match a playlist you can find on the radio. It costs hundreds of dollars in electricity, not to mention the thousands he spent on the lights themselves. But he says it's worth it. They're amazing. They're amazing? Which is your favorite one? The two big Christmas trees. Hundreds of cars show up on the weekends. The only payment he asks is a donation to Toys for Tots. I love it. I love it. I love listening to the kids outside screaming and yelling. A gift for his young neighbors from a guy just happy he was given the gift of survival. How one local organization is offering locals hope one meal at a time right after this. This is what being cheated on looks like. I was hysterically crying and he told me I was pathetic. You're saying 1,000% this is because no sex in the marriage. If there was intimacy in the relationship, it wouldn't have happened. You sent some texts to woman number two. Can get laid whenever I want. I see a lot of ego and insecurity. Well, woman number two is here. Come on out. Next, Dr. Phil. At Furniture Row, a new year calls for a new sofa, sectional, dining group, bedroom set, mattress, and more. Because during the New Year's Super Sale, getting it all has never been easier. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend and watch the savings add up. Plus, five years no interest financing. Say goodbye to tired old designs. And hello to killer new looks at great prices. The New Year's Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. When kids need medical care, they will often face stressful and life-changing experiences. They miss out on the things that make being a kid fun. Starlight Children's Foundation has delivered happiness to 17 million seriously ill kids and their families at more than 800 children's hospitals and healthcare facilities. Our programs entertain and inspire hospitalized kids. Learn more at starlight.org. That's starlight.org. 
Introducing Stretch and Fresh Containers, the amazing food storage containers with stretch and fit lids that let you store more. Even the odd-shaped foods you couldn't put in containers before. Just stretch over the food and snap lock the lid to keep food fresh. That's it. It comes in the sizes you need to store all the foods you want with amazing storage capacity. And the containers nest for compact stack space-saving storage. And right now, we'll double the offer and send a second set. Just pay a separate fee. Call now. Hi, it's me, Anthony Sullivan. And yes, you've actually caught me at home relaxing because life's been pretty worry-free since I got coverage with American Residential Warranty. You won't believe what ARW covers. Heating and air conditioning, washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, plumbing, water heaters, electrical systems, flat screens and laptops, even pools and spas, and so much more. Call American Residential Warranty. They'll get you covered. 1-800-219-4161. Helping our seniors in need, that's the goal of Yuma Catholic Community Services and its Home Delivery Meals program. Our Adam Clapp rode along with volunteers as they distributed food to seniors around Yuma this year. He tells us why this program means more than just a meal. Al Weber has been delivering meals to seniors in Yuma for over 20 years. Thank you. He drives his route from memory three days a week, visiting over 30 seniors each trip remembering their names along the way. Al is just one of the many drivers for the Yuma Catholic Community Service Senior Nutrition Program, ensuring 298 homebound seniors in our community receive over 10,000 meals a month. He says the response from the locals he serves is why he's been delivering food for two decades. The need is still there. The need is still there. And yeah, the people, their response is, is, is still there. Thank you, still there. Thank yous from locals like Rosa. She's just one of the seniors along Al's route, saying that while the meals are great, the interaction with Al is what makes this program so special. So, and it's nice to see somebody, you know? We, we're alone. A lot of the seniors don't have nobody to visit us, you know? We only get visited by, by them to bring us the food or the landlord to see how we're doing. People like Rosa are why CCS Associate Director Mary McClendon say the senior nutrition program is more than a meal. We've come to houses where they've actually fallen and they've been waiting two or three hours on the floor knowing that their driver was going to come and be able to assist them with getting the attention that they need at that point. This program doesn't just feed us, it, it's watching over us to make sure we're okay. Adam Klepp, News 11. Tis the season for more at Metro by T-Mobile. Now, new and existing customers can get a free Samsung Galaxy tablet and enjoy high-speed data for just 15 bucks a month. That's the lowest price on Unlimited for tablets, all with the power of the T-Mobile network. Metro is giving you and your family more chances to stream, more ways to connect, and more reasons to celebrate with a free Samsung Galaxy tablet. Get more for the holidays, only at Metro. This is Dave. He thought he'd save money by getting internet from one company and TV from, well, from multiple providers. You see, Dave and his wife watch live TV, Ella her favorite kid shows, and Henry loves sports. It was costing Dave a lot. So Dave switched to Spectrum. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 per month each. Call 833-985-4499. Spectrum Internet with speeds at 100 megabits includes a free modem and free online security software. And Spectrum TV with over 125 channels includes live local news and regional sports and up to 85,000 on-demand titles. Plus, with the free Spectrum TV app, everyone can stream on their devices anywhere. So now Dave has one bill, one provider, no contracts, and is saving a ton. Be like Dave. Switch to Spectrum Internet and TV from $44.99 per month each. Call 833-985-4499 or visit Spectrum.com. It's time to grow up, little wildflower, so don't you worry now, there's no need to worry now, it's been a long, long day, and you can shine now. 
From our family to yours, we hope you all have a safe and jolly holiday and a happy New Year's. Thanks for watching. I'm Adonis Albright, signing off.